Enough, gentlemen. It is now time that we move on, move on to the closing remarks by the candidates. You each have 60 seconds, and we begin with Mayor Bloomberg. We came back, as I said before, from 9-11. Uh, we'll come back from this recession. What we've done in the last eight years is a stepping stone. We shouldn't look at it and pat ourselves on the back and say that's the end game. Quite the contrary. We should be proud of what we've done. We should be proud of what we as citizens have done, what we, the 300,000 municipal workers have done. Uh, we should be proud of what our legislature has done, the city council. They've really made some big changes here, much better. That they've done a lot of reforms that Albany hasn't done and Washington hasn't done. But what we've done is we put in place a building block and we can take this city to a new level. We will recover from this recession stronger than any other city. We'll recover faster because what's unique about New York is its diversity and the way we live together as a mixture, not as a mosaic. That's the great strength of this city. People come here because they want to practice their religion and they want to say what they, what they want to say without worrying about being thrown in jail. They want to be here to be in control of their own destiny. They provide the vitality that we need in this city. And the best days for New York City are yet to come. Thank you very much, Mayor Bloomberg. And now the closing uh, comment from City Controller Bill Thompson. Well, again, let me thank all of you for the opportunity to have the debate, the debate tonight. And let me again thank my opponent for being here. Uh, I think, no, I know, over the last eight years, middle class and working New Yorkers have been squeezed and pushed out of the city of New York. They've watched water rates go up sales tax go up, property rates go up, and assessments. They've watched their MTA fares go up and parking tickets skyrocket. Think that right now, Mayor Bloomberg is spending almost $200 million to try and rewrite history and get the people of New York City to forget that he violated their trust when it came to term limits. We can't stand for that. The people of New York City aren't for sale. And on November 3rd, I suggest that we come out and send a message to Mike Bloomberg that that's our own version of term limits, that November 3rd be our referendum on term limits, and that we say that we are not for sale. So again, it's been a pleasure to be here. For everyone in the audience, I look forward to being a mayor for all New Yorkers. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you very much. And so, we thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, for being here tonight. We also thank you, Mr. Controller Bill Thompson, for being here tonight. That concludes our debate. I would also like to thank our panelists and, again, the candidates for making this a very lively and interesting evening. And, of course, we'd all like to thank El Milzio del Barrio for allowing us the use of their beautiful theater here. Again, thank you and good night.